Hi guys, this is Angel from PRGB Entertainment. Welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 complete tutorial. Now, on this tutorial, we're going to be teaching you guys how to work with the variables, advanced uh, setups that we are going to create here. So you can add those texts or percentage or numbers or stuff like that to your HUD, to your screen, so you can show them on the screen. So first of all, I'm going to create something a HUD really quick. And it's going to be my HUD folder. I'm going to create a widget for this. This is going to be uh, gaming HUD. So inside my gaming HUD, I'm just going to use a text block. And if you know, if you guys don't know what I'm doing here, you should check the other previous videos for these tutorials on how making HUDs and how to add them to the viewport. Now I'm going to put the name. It's going to be text label text key label. There we go. So I'm not going to do nothing else for now. So I'm just going to compile and save. Now I'm going to my character blueprint. And I'm going to open that blueprint. Now I'm going to create a uh, three variables now the first one is going to be uh, backspace the second one is going to be a space bar and the other one is going to be key uh, press result so those are going to be the three variables that we're going to create and they are going to be text variables so I'm going to choose text here I'm going to put here uh, backspace key and I'm going to create another one that's going to be space bar key. And the other one is going to be hmm, key press results. There we go. So now I'm going to compile so we can get the options for these. And let's put this on public here so we can call these variables later on the HUD. So for the backspace key, the text, the results that we'll have inside. Uh, let's go. Okay, so I'm, I'm, this is an advanced variable tutorial. So, first of all, the variables for you guys don't, that don't know what variables are or what they do. Variables are like social security numbers. Inside that so social security number is your name. So, it only identifies you. So that's what we are going to do with the variables here. Basically, the variable is the social security number, and inside uh, the text is going to be your name. But for here, we're going to put whatever we want, not exactly your name. So for this one, I'm just going to put here the uh, pressing uh, backspace backspace. There we go. And for the space bar, oh, something went wrong here. And for the space bar, uh, compile. I'm going to put here pressing space bar. And for the key press results, I'm going to leave it on blank because we will make like compare, like compares of the keys and stuff like that. And inside the key press results, will uh, be the text that of the key that you are pressing so for that we need to create the events first and we are going to get our event for the backspace and also for the space bar there we go so let's create the let's create the first one for the backspace let's create a widget And now let's get the player controller. So from here, we are trying to get whatever key or whatever button from the gamepad the user is using. Now for the class, let's change it to gaming HUD. That is the HUD that we created. And for the return value, let's add to viewport so we can add this widget to our screen. And now on the return value, I'm gonna put here remove from parent remove not remote remove from parent and from here I'm going to choose the release I'm going to put it right here 
So that what we'll do is that it w he will remove the widget from the screen. Uh, I'm gonna I gotta break this here because this is wrong. So now we need to set our key press results here, and now we need to get our backspace variable and link it with the key press. Now we are just telling that the key press results is going to be equal to the backspace results that I have inside of this variable. So now we link the press with the set and from the set it goes to the create widget so it starts creating the widget and after that he adds that to the viewport and for the release we're going to connect it with the remove from parent so as soon as we release the, back, the backspace key it will remove it from the viewport now I'm going to copy this because I'm not going to create a whole thing. I'm going to use it for the other one also. And here, let me put a comment to this backspace key. Okay. Pull it up. And now I'm going to use the spacebar. So we're going to get the variable same thing we're going to connect it here from the press goes here create widget and it adds the viewport and as soon as you release it it will remove it from the parent from the viewport so let me create another comment here uh, spacebar key there we go now that we have everything set up here the variables and everything and the results that we are going to get we need to finish our gaming HUD now let's bind this with our character on the text block. Make sure to select the text block and bind it. Let's create a binding. From here he will create a function so you can add events. Now let's change the name of this for get results. Results of key pressed. There we go. So now let's cast this to the character, the third person. It could be also another character that you have. It doesn't have to be a third person character. This will do is that he will connect to the character so we can get whatever info we need from him. And on the object, we need to do the same thing as player character, not controller, because we are trying to get the character so we can get the variables as third person character now we're gonna get the variables here and the only variable that we're going to use is the mm -hmm, the key press result so we type get key press result there we go so as soon as you press your key one of the keys he will go to the set from here he will read which key it is and from there he will go to the create widget so he will create the widget the gaming HUD and from there he will add it to the viewport showing on your gaming HUD that when when you're uh, when he's showing the HUD on the viewport he's going to connect to the player to the character and he's gonna get the variable of key press results and he's going to print that on our text block that it is right here on the middle. So let's try it out. There you go, compile, save, third person, compile, save. Now let's play. As we press the spacebar, and as we press the backspace, spacebar, backspace, spacebar, backspace, spacebar. There we go. So I hope you guys like this tutorial is a little bit advanced for you guys, for a lot of beginners that we have here. I hope you guys learn a lot, and I hope you guys start making a lot of things with the variables. You better check the variables because there are a lot of different variables, float, boolean, and others. Uh, also variables to, make uh, to work with the structures, that is with the inventories and stuff like that. So, we're almost entering to the tutorials for the inventory and the items so we can add them to our inventory structures so we are really really near to that tutorial 
Hope to see you guys on the next tutorial. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.